Welcome back to Destroyer 1320. Today we're going to figure out what to do if you get a dead car battery in your Challenger. So your battery's dead. Uh, what do we do? Issues we have with dead batteries in these new vehicles that are keyless are that you can't open the door, you can't open the trunk, because it's just a little electric button. So what do we do? Uh, number one is, you'll actually see there's a keyhole. But, most people don't realize, well let's see, this key won't fit in that hole. So if you look at your key, I know a lot of people know this already, but for those who don't, if you look at your key at the top, there's that little silver piece. See this little switch right here? If I put this to the side, I pull it out, bam, now I have the key to get into the door. So okay, well, I can get into the door, what do I do? The battery is in the trunk. So how do I charge my battery? So charging your battery, not being able to get into the trunk, I'll show you one way. And then I will show you another way after I'm done with this. So first of all, now that we got in the car using the key, let me pop the hood. Of course, my battery is not dead, but I want to run through the scenario because it's very important if you were stuck out somewhere, uh, to even if it's your loved one or somebody else driving the vehicle besides you to inform them how to do this. So I have just unlatched pop the hood from the inside so where do we go to hook up our jumper cables so right here is the positive side and right here is the negative side so you're gonna to want to clamp on the positive and then clamp on the negative after you've already connected it to the other vehicle that's one way to charge your car and then get it started should the battery die in you so something else Let's say the battery is completely dead. It won't charge. You've tried jumping it. It doesn't do anything. How do I get to the battery? So if you, if you need to get to the battery and you just pop the door open with your key, you have to change that battery. If you look over here, there's a little latch right there, a little, little uh, silver thing. I'll actually go grab it for you if I can reach my big butt in here. So you just reach back and grab this right here. Pull the seat forward. Now you have access to your trunk. If you look right there, see that yellow? So if we pull on that yellow piece right there, that will pop that trunk open with no power. So that's the way to get into the trunk. Hold on. Ugh. Watch out, puppy. Nitro's trying to help us with this video. So once you've popped the trunk by pulling on that yellow piece, you will get in here, and I know most people already know this, but once again, I like to go start to finish as if I've never done this and know nothing so that anyone can show their family members or what have you, whoever may be driving in the car, show them how to do it. So right here is a strap. As soon as you come in over the trunk, right here is the strap. That pulls up this bottom plate. There is our battery. So is this battery really easy to take off? You're gonna need some simple hand tools to get that loose. And then the same thing over here. Let me see if I can pop this out without breaking it, yep. Same thing right here. So you loosen that one up there. You loosen this one up here, pop them up. It does have a handy dandy handle on it. Um, it looks like there may be, okay, there is. So there is a strap around the battery right there that you will have to loosen right here. Pull that loose before you go attempting to pull this out or you will just pull your arm off and never get the battery out. So there are some quick tips on pulling that battery out. So let me go through another scenario here. Let's say that the battery in your key fob 
has gone bad. Watch it, Nitro. What's your deal? So let's say the battery in my key fob, this thing is dead. Well, we already know we can pull that key out and open the door if it's locked. But how do we start the motor if it won't register the key? So it's very interesting. These, uh, the keys, hold on, let me get the seat back. Watch out, Nitro. It's trying to help too much. So these keys right here, they have a chip right in the end of them. And even if the key is completely dead, the battery in the key is dead, if you take and hold this all the way against it and push, use this to push in and start your vehicle, it will start even though your key fob battery is dead. Another tip to make sure you tell anybody else who is driving your vehicle, if they were to get in trouble, you know, you go to the mall and you don't realize it and they've been sitting in a purse and it, it ran the battery dead in the key fob, that's a very real uh, issue that could occur. You'll want to make sure that they know that little trick as well. So this is a, a kind of a quick video here. I wanted to make sure that I went over just some simple things because I know once in a while my wife drives the car and other people do. If you run into that type of thing, now you are equipped with the knowledge to be able to handle it. I appreciate you guys, everyone who supported us uh, since this whole thing started. I know I was one of the first people with the 1320 particular content, but this is this uh, video is for everyone with a, a Challenger or any type of vehicle that is keyless. Uh, most of the same rules apply. Uh, if you like this video, please smash the like button. Make sure you hit subscribe. We're really close to 3,000 subscribers. Just a couple more here, and we're doing that giveaway. If you've not signed up, you need to check that video out as well. And if you want one of those plate covers, uh, if you're wondering about the plate covers, hold on. In this video, what's the plate cover? The neutral plate covers. So right here. You can't get to that neutral release because I have blocked it off. And I'm selling those plates on uh, my destroyer, or sorry, destroyer1320.com. Sorry for horrible camera work on this one. So I'm selling those on destroyer1320.com. So if you're looking for one of those plates right now, I only have them for Challenger. I need somebody to test them for the chargers before I can get those. And then I am still working on the plates for the Ram Rebel and TRX right here. First ones are going to be going out to TK's garage because he has several of those. And I know he can give me the honest feedback I need to make sure I get the right thing before I go selling them to you. If you like the video, smack the button. You know what to do. We'll see you on the next one. I hope this has helped someone. Have yourself a great day. We'll see you later.